biggest gallery and the gallery where all the parties were. If you wanted to meet artists, you made sure you went to the reality scene and any day you went there, Mary Ann was holding court. so wonderful was that it wasn't just a commercial art gallery, it, was, it really was like a place where you met the maddest and um, decadent people in, in Australia. Her eye is impeccable, I mean she's an artist, so, so her eye of course you know, leads her to, to, to good artists. And, and, and so all of a sudden there was this wonderful space which, which just people were attracted to, it was a magnet. I think she was visionary and also she was understood to embrace the artist as a human being. We're launching a book called Realities, about Realities Gallery, but only the photographs that Rhonda took. Rhonda Sundberg took these photographs during the years of 1976 to 1980. So beautiful to be standing here with all of you. It's like family for me. And I feel this like a pulse of creativeness between all of us. Because all of you have been part of my background, my realities. Marianne, look. Unique as a person, she's gorgeous, she, she loves people, she, she's, she's happy to party. But the unique thing really, and it is unique, you don't see this too often, as much as there are plenty of dealers and as much as there are plenty of galleries, there are not plenty of people who actually laud their artists and champion their artists and support the artists that they love. And that is what makes her special. If you went to an opening there, and you would go to the gallery and hear this extraordinary roar, and then when you opened the wooden doors, you walked into a pretty amazing scene. So 600 people might come to an opening. You could open the doors and hear the hum of the audience. People. And you know, there would be this incredible feeling they've got to be there, they've got to be there. What is Marianne up to next? Mm -hmm.